Hi, I'm going to show you how to crochet a hydrangea motif cow in this video. We are just starting spring, and how wonderful it is to start this awesome season with flowers. These pretty rounded motifs remind me of the small cluster flower of hydrangea. They come in all sorts of colors, ranging from green, blue, purple, pink, peach, and sometimes a variety of those colors mixed together. For this simple project, spiral color blocking adds an interesting element to the design. This hydrangea cowl is comfortable to wear in any chilly spring or summer night, so let's get started. For this project, I'm using Cobooth by Lion Brand number no. 3 lightweight yarn. This yarn is 51% cotton and 49% rayon from bamboo. I'm using three skein in three different pastel colors, peach, blue, and cream. I'm also using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook by, by um, Susan Bates, tape measurement, a tapestry, and spare scissors. For more detailed information regards to the materials I'm using in this video, you can check the description of this video below where I added all the information needed for you to complete this project. The finished size of each motif is 2 inches wide and 3 inches corner to corner. I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute motif and how to join them simultaneously. Let's start by making a foundation chain of five. And if you are very new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget to click the bell button right next to it so you don't miss anything. At any point, you can check out notes below where I added detailed information in regard to this project. So we are going to chain five. Once you chain five, you're going to make a slip knot in the fifth chain. This is to create a ring from back to front, okay? A slip stitch and you're going to chain one. Right here, right next to it, you're going to make a single crochet stitch. I'm going to crochet single crochet stitches inside the ring. Once you make the single crochet stitch, you're going to chain seven. Once you chain seven, you're going to make a single crochet stitch right next to the other single crochet stitch that you did previously. Now you're going to chain seven again. Sorry. And a single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat this step two more times. For the last one, I'm going to insert my hook in the single in the first single crochet I made and I'm going to make a slip knot right there. Okay? So this is the way it should look. You have four petals, okay, of seven chain spaces. Now that we did that, we are going to make a slip knot right into the chain space of seven. I made one and then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to work now a single crochet stitch. Everything in that first seven 
chain space. After doing the single crochet stitch, I'm going to make four double crochet stitches. I complete the four double crochet stitches. Now I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to make four more double crochet stitches. So you have one slip knot, chain one, one single crochet stitch, four double crochet stitches, three chain space, and four double crochet stitches. Now I'm going to make one single crochet stitch here. That will be the very last stitch of each petal. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to make a slip knot in the next chain space of seven chain one, and I'm going to repeat the same step I did before, single crochet, and four double crochet stitches. Once completed, I'm going to make three chain and I'm going to make four double crochet stitches in the same space. Now you have the second petal of the motif. You finish by making a single crochet right in the space, chain one. And you're going to continue making this other two the same way we did this first two until you have four. To finalize, I'm going to make a single crochet stitch here. And then I'm going to insert my hook in the um, single crochet stitch from the previous petal. And I'm going to make a slip knot. Okay. And you're going to fast, fast enough. This by cutting. pull and you're going to weave the ends. My suggestion is to weave the ends. Don't cut them here because you cut them here. This yarn tends to separate. See? And it gets all. So you don't want that to happen. I what I do is I turn this around and I insert my tapestry All between this stitches the back stitches here the way I do is easier for me it works very fine and perfect and then I pull and I hide this okay you can continue around if you want. I'm just gonna cut this here just for demonstration purposes. I did this. The same thing you do with this one. You go around. Go here.
Okay, and then I cut. And I'm done with my first motif. Of course, this is not the order of the colors. I don't start with the blue in this case, but you can start with whatever color you want. I just did this one because the color, you know, is easier for you to show you here in the camera. Now I'm going to show you how to join them. You see here, this is the end project. Okay. I follow a pattern and the pattern of colors you can find there um, below in the description. Okay. You can use whatever color you want, of course, just to give you an idea. As I was completing each motif, I was joining them. But I'm going to show you how I joined them. While I was crocheting, I was joining them, each of them. But I was not just joining them in the space. Of course, this space is for that, to join them. But not inserting my hook in the space. I was joining them by inserting my hook in the second chain of the three space by inserting my hook between the two strands here, these two strands, and then pulling and doing a slip knot and then the next chain. But let me show you. I'm going to show you so you have a better idea. So now I'm crocheting the second motif. I'm completing the second petal. I already did the first one. The second petal is the one I'm going to join in the first motif. I'm going to be working from left to right. I'm going to be joining the motifs as I complete them. And of course, the first row, you're going to join these very two corners, okay, um, from each of them, okay. Now, when you go to below, then you're going to join not just these two corners, but then you're going to join the one on the top and the one on the side. And that's how it's going to um, start developing your work. Once you complete the first four double crochet stitches, then you're going to chain one and you're going to join. Let's see. Oh, I lost it. Oh, here we go. Between the two strands from the second chain. It's more sturdy. Okay, now you're going to chain one again and you continue your petal by making the four double crochet stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and the reason why I hold with a little pinky here is because I don't want to confuse the back part of the motif from the front part because you can tell the difference. Now I'm going to attach it by inserting my hook in between the two strands of this second stitch, okay? And I'm going to slip knot, make a, a chain, and then make my other double crochet stitches, my other four double crochet stitches. Then you're going to finalize this second motif like we did the first one. You're going to insert your hook in the first single crochet from the first petal, making a slip knot, fasten off, and weaving the ends. My recommendation is to weave the ends every time you complete one all the time because if not you're going to have a lot of things hanging around and it's annoying okay you don't want that and this is how it's done if this video added any value to you did you learn something new any suggestions questions or feedbacks bad or good please comment below at the end i want to keep bringing to you good tutorials you all are the ones who are going to help me with all this Thank you, and see you next time. Don't forget to check out my videos where I show you step by step those skills needed in order for you to start this crochet journey. And don't forget to subscribe.